was established last year. We are not even one year old, and uh, we have uh, been able to achieve quite a bit during this period. Now, our mission is to address challenges of preserving India's tangible and intangible rural heritage for its intrinsic meaning and value, and to connect the preservation and enhancement of this heritage with economic development, livelihood enhancement, and general improvement in the quality of rural life. Now, as all of you know, India has crossed the 1 billion mark, and about 700 million live in uh, rural areas, and more than 600,000 villages are there scattered all over the country. 30% of the population suffers from chronic poverty, and about 15 million rural families are both poor and landless. Now, rural residents struggle to maintain a basic livelihood, but they are unaware that they possess, possess one valuable resource, and that resource is heritage. Now, one of the projects that we are taking up is a, is a cluster of three villages in a town called Azamgarh, which is very close to Varanasi, with which I'm sure all of you are familiar. Now, here, our aim is to revive and create new patronage for traditional skills, improve the civic infrastructure, education, medical facilities, and brand Azamgarh District as a unique creative cluster with heritage as a score. The second project is in a village on the border of West Bengal in the state of Jharkhand. And originally, there were 108 17th century terracotta temples but now only about 62 have survived. And they are rare examples of a living temple village. And our endeavor is now to uh, conserve those temples. Many of those temples are living temples. Their worship uh, goes on. And they are intrinsically linked with the lives of the community. Here's an example of one of the temples, the exquisite carving, and the damage that has been done. This is the village. This is also the village. They have no electricity, no sewage system, no water supply, no employment opportunities, no health facilities, no doctor. <coughs> only one lone paramedic. And they had to travel 16 kilometers for even basic medical care. So we had to take care of all those where, along with conservation of these temples, we're taking up the developmental works so that it has a positive impact on the life of the community, improves the quality of life, provides employment uh, opportunities, gives them all the facilities that they lack at present. Now, the goals uh, include civic infrastructure, sustainable utilities, rainwater harvesting, tourism, health facilities, education, capacity building, sanitary facilities, environmental uh, restoration. Now, new, new op, uh, employment opportunities, income will be created, <laughs> health and education facilities, tourism infrastructure, revitalization of traditional artisanal skills. Now, I might here mention that uh, it's very difficult to get uh, uh, teachers in the villages or even nurses. Now, what we are planning to do is uh, identify young girls who have done their school level pass their school level uh, examination, and then put them, give them uh, intensive training. And then they can work as primary school teachers or as nurses. For nurses, they'll be given, we've tied up with the hospital, big hospital, who will be training them for about a year or a, year, or a little more than a year. And for school teachers, we'll be bringing them to Calcutta, and they're giving them three months training. Now, our experience on both Azamgarh and Maluti indicates that a variety of public and private partners are available. Now, the crucial role of the Global Heritage Fund is that of a catalyst, providing the assurance of international cooperation and con confirming that the heritage assets are indeed of global as well as local importance. Now, because of the participation of GHF, we've been able to get other partners in the project in Maruti. There is the Tata is there, the state government is contributing very substantially about a million dollars to for the development projects. And uh, so uh, it is because of GHF entering in that we've been able to find other partners. Thank you very much.